위얼로이 비밀 구독자 여러분 안녕하세요 오늘은 정말 정말 특별한 날입니다 오늘은 우리 스튜디오 손님은 바로 소개 필요 없습니다 바로 슈퍼 메가 엑스트라 울트라 슈퍼스타 리처드 용재 오닐 오셨습니다 환영합니다 <laughs> Richard, thank you so much for your time. It's uh, such an honor to have you. Thank you for agreeing to do this interview. And uh, are, are you comfortable with English or h a n g u k m a l y a n g a is maybe better, but uh, we can do k o n g l i s h Okay. Uh, Russian? d a s v i d a n d a s v i d a n By the way, uh, oh, 우리 며칠 전에 제가 리처드 처음 만났는데 어, 저를 알고 있더라고요. Uh, it was uh, so flattering to know that you have heard about me. How is it okay if I ask what what what? You're a celebrity. How, You're a celebrity. Am I? No, you are a celebrity. You know, when, you, when you you <laughs> first came to you were in KBS. And, right. And you were a celebrity because I think you. Yeah, I was only 18 years old. Yes, yeah. and. Uh, uh, Wow. So, so I've heard about you, and it's so nice to finally meet you. Wow, this is this is so flattering that uh, Richard Young j o n i o knows me. Oh. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, it's actually uh, uh, it's especially nice to talk to you because I think that we kind of have things in common. Uh, besides, we both play the viola. Uh, we are overseas Koreans. Uh, And uh, it, I, I find it amazing that you are from America and I'm from Russia, but we are both Koreans. We meet here in Seoul and we play music together. This, this, is, this is just amazing, I think. And uh, besides that, I, I read some of your interviews and I know your story. And uh, yeah, some part of that is really heartbreaking. And, Uh, you know, I'm I'm Russian Korea, and uh, the story of R- Russians uh, Russian Koreans is not very happy either. So it's another <laughs> thing to share. I know today is I'm talking too much. No, no. Uh, today is your performance in few hours, and uh, I don't want to make you tired. So can we go straight to the questions? Anything. Okay. Anything. Uh, as I told you before, my channel is. Uh, mostly viewed by uh, viola amateurs and uh, viola students mm-hmm. and the uh, question i get most often is uh, viola sizing e, do you agree with the idea of the taller person the bigger viola and if if there is any richard y o n g j e o n i l s sizing chart mm. It's, that's a difficult question. Uh, uh, you know, if, if you have the luxury of choosing your viola, your size of your viola, I would say, uh, first and foremost, uh, this concept that a big viola has a big sound, um, I don't agree with that necessarily, because um, a, a big viola let's say like a gaspar de salo that's un, un, unchanged from its original form uh it might have a very big sound very close by but then in, in the hall rather than the sound fan out it it just it mm-hmm. spreads mm-hmm. so um i think first and foremost with when i was a younger man i always played like this I had an 18 inch viola, 17 and a quarter inch viola. So the really big uh, ones. Very big. And you know, when you're younger, I think you're more flexible and you're able to stretch and, and it was not a problem. At this, you know, I'm, I'm 43 now. I, I wouldn't play a, an instrument that large, especially mainly because if it's, it's heavy and it's your way, way out, I think that's not so good, especially if you're doing Bartok Concerto, Walton Concerto, h i n d e m i t t When you're really high up, that's 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 very stressful on the body. So I don't know when when people are learning, but we used to do the sizing thing where you 
if you can reach your fingers around the scroll, mm -hmm. that's an appropriate size for the instrument. Okay. I don't think that's quite true with the viola, but it's if you can't reach around the scroll at all, then it's probably too big. Okay. I think also to me, it's it's a matter of 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 your if you can get to the tip of your bow and not feel like you have to extend mm -hmm. you don't have to push out the shoulder mm -hmm. because to me that's a big disadvantage if every time you do a down bow you have to extend the, uh -huh. the, the the shoulder blade so i think if you find a viola that the sounding point like even me if i have like an 18 and a quarter inch viola my my soundings point out to here i mean i don't think that's necessarily the healthiest okay way and uh, what <coughs> viola are you playing today this is an interesting viola it was my first um, chamber music teacher's viola. Uh, it's it's a Gaspardo Salo from the Curtis collection, and if I could show everybody on that later, but the there it was branded by the Curtis in, in Institute of Music in Philadelphia. So there's a brand that says Curtis Villa, and uh -oh. then it was sold by it was sold by um, yeah you can see it there. Oh, can you show it to the yeah, camera? It's, this it's, one. You it, it can show it really close. It's right. Right next to the the finger, or the um the the chin rest. Holder. Okay, so I'll, I'll close your face because it will focus on your face. <laughs> okay, <laughs> good. Don't focus on the face ever. <laughs> I've had a few violas now. I've had this viola, um, which I love. I have my gefriller. I have because I'm in the Takach quartet now. I also have a Guadagnini, beautiful um, JB Guadagnini viola, mm -hmm. and I have a modern viola. Those are sort of my four violas I have in circulation, but. This by far is my favorite viola to play. I kind of, this is a good compromise. It's not too big and it's not too small. Okay, so it's 16 and... Uh, and and uh, uh, three quarters, so that's... Three quarters. 40, 41, is it 41 or 43 is the magic number of centimeters? Oh, uh, what's the magic number? I know that 16 is a 40... Point five. Yeah, 40. Oh, 40.5. 40.5. 40. So people, some people, Larry Dutton from the Emerson says that if it's, if it's 41, that's the magic cutoff. Oh, Anything okay. under 41 is no good. Okay. And this is around 45 or 40, 40, between 43 and 45. Okay. I don't know what you think about playing sometimes, but if, if on larger violas, on smaller violas, I can use, um, elbow vibrato I can vibrate from this but on bigger violas I can't vibrate it's too wide so I have to use more of the wrist this brings us to my next question you have a beautiful vibrato like you have like it's like velvety it's so elegant and it's so warm uh, is there a way to practice vibrato it's number one and number two uh, do you mostly use your wrist or do you use your arm to vibrate? Uh, with many young violists, the first thing, you know, when you're young and you're hearing, I was a violinist, of course, first, um, that sound of beautiful vibrato makes everything, it makes everything sound delicious, right? Mm -hmm. That sound. And, and so I went to my teacher, I was like, I want to learn how to vibrate. And so what they did is they made me stand against a wall up and brace the scroll on the wall so you push your body weight into the wall so you don't have to hold up the instrument and then they started with move the finger back and move the finger uh, move move the shake the finger back and then come back to the original position so it's a da 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 in, in this tempo da da and then trip Triple it, trip. I mean, da 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 da. Triple it, triple it. Eighth, 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 and then so it's almost like doing scales, like um, and then you triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, sixty, 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 and then and then hopefully by the time you get to sixteenth, you start to get that motion. So, so finger, and then hand, I guess, which is, I mean, a little bit. To me, it's. I guess to me the next most viable vibrato to me is my wrist. Okay. Um, and then some people say the elbow, vibrating from the elbow, mm -hmm. and then arm. And as you know, 
I maybe arm vibrato for maybe some really tragic Shostakovich thing where it's largamente and you can really sink into the C string where you really want a huge os slow oscillation and then maybe elbow for for something that's very expressive but mm -hmm. for me my default setting because of the size of my viola is I vibrate from the wrist um, when I had the gefriller my when I planned my gefriller um, when that was my main concert instrument I did a lot of I actually ended up because I don't there's something about when I was about here on that instrument it was much smaller so I it was very comfortable mm -hmm. for me to vibrate from my my elbow but with this instrument, it's about here, so I ended up doing this. Amazing. Thank you so much for this, your answer. So many people are <laughs> asking you how to practice the vibrato. <laughs> yeah, I think the main thing is, if you first, to, to, to find a surface that you can support the scroll, make sure you don't okay. slip. I did that when I was a kid. I slipped and I banged my head and the <laughs> instrument almost destroyed the instrument. But, but to ma mainly that when you vibrate to not feel like that you get the, the motion of the hand down without feeling like you have to support with the thumb. Ah, okay. Uh, 이거를 지금 번역해 볼게요. 악기를 벽에다가 밀어서 밀어서 음, 기대 기대서 어, 악기를 여기로 support 안 하게. 그래서 몸으로 몸으로 악기를 밀어서 그래서 여기 왼손이 그냥 그냥 그대로 그대로 있을 수 있게. 여기에서 push 안 해도 되게. 그 다음에 so we do slow. Mm -hmm. De, uh, de, uh, like eighth note, eighth note, and triple, then triplet. Let, triple, da, 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 triple, da, 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 and then sixteenth, 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 sixteenth. Okay, that was a Richard Yongjiawanyu's vibrato secret. <laughs> it's not a secret. It's like it was. Viola <laughs> e bimil. By the way, talking about right. secrets. Uh, is there uh what's what's your um daily routine i mean like uh what do you do uh when you practice like uh, open strings or car flash or scales what 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 do you do da daily i i first learned galamian his scale system and then flesh okay. i think both are good for any violist we don't have we have the primrose scale book but those are really hard i would say either start with your Galamian, you know, if it was me, Galamian, three octave scales and whatever key you want to cover and your mm -hmm. um uh but to mainly I think people always talk about the importance of scales. Um I agree with that. Um but I think partially it's any sort of slow practice where you l learn when you get to the space where you you live with your bow arm. And you understand what the bow arm is doing. I think scales is so good, especially with the connection of the notes, because of course it's about intonation and framework. It's everything, but but mainly it's about le learning how to 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 discover every millimeter of your bow, and connect it with your breathing and connect it with the left hand. Scaly, when son we can exercise animida. Scaling or son we can exercise animida. Do you agree with that? Yes. And slow practice is good. Mm -hmm. um, I love the metronome. Uh, metronome, okay. Because I, I tend to I tend to be very um, I can be very obsessive compulsive, and mm -hmm. and then because I'm obsessive compulsive, I forget about. I start focusing on one thing, and then something's wrong, and I start <laughs> focusing on that, and it's like oh, and then everything is bad. Mm -hmm. And so something about like finding a pulse to get in the body to help do rhythm, it's very good for me. Metronome. But. But I mean, many probably your students are much better at focusing than I am. I mean, <laughs> I, 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 yeah. This is a problem of uh, these days. People, you know, focusing. It's not. It's not easy to focus. Some of students they watch the cacao talk during <laughs> during the lesson. Yolli <laughs> bimel. I I really uh, like your the idea of imagining uh, a picture and then playing that. So you are kind of you are living in that world in that moment. And uh, regarding that, uh, how do you imagine a Walton viola concerto first movement? The Walton is a very the reason I played the viola is because I fell in love with that concerto, wow. the first piece. And I'm from the Pacific Northwest, and Pacific Northwest in the United States is very similar to London. 
It's very, a lot of rain, a lot of bad, dreary days. So I think of, first and foremost, if I was to think of an image, I think of my childhood growing up, waking up and it's dark and, and there's all these trees and there's fog and yeah. there's these fields that you can't really see the grass, but you just see these, the fog and you feel that wetness, oh, I'm already that feeling chilly. That. <laughs> and I think that's part of the UK. It has terrible weather in the winter. Yeah. You know? Walton he dedicated the piece to Christabel and it's, I don't want to get into a whole musicology discussion but that relationship didn't work out it was mm -hmm. a heartbreaker and I think that's partially there's that it's about about love lost um, that first movement exploring maybe all the feelings maybe it's after they've broken up it's that pain the pain of pain. of understanding the pain that the pain and the joy of love and I think that that the that all of those those longing things you start with the third from the AC um, and C D um, and and then finally C B you get all those those um, intervals that are reaching reaching maximum but then the, the phrase really doesn't resolve to the very, very end. And then by the time you resolve it, it goes right to the oboe. So I think one thing, a, a big thing for, for, for any young violist is, of course, we can we get the fancy piano reduction when we, when, we, uh, when we buy the score. But get your hands on that Oxford University Press conductor's score and see how all that is and understand what's in the double basses in in the lower brass those chords are really important to understand score를 배워야 됩니다 비올라의 비밀 it will be some kind of a, like instant instant question and answer uh oh so i say i say apple or samsung oh no apple or banana and you say Apple or banana? You pick one. That's okay. too difficult for a viola. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It will be very, very okay. simple. Okay. The first one was Walton, Bartok or Hindemith, but you already answered that. So it, we don't I, need that. One. I was this morning, right now I was practicing Hindemith, but I, I love all three. Uh -huh. But if it was, I would say Walton, uh -huh. Hindemith, Bartok. Bartok. Okay, cool. Now pick one Stamitz or Hofmeister? Hofmeister. Okay. Carbon fiber bow or wooden bow? Wooden. Cool. Book or a movie? Book. Nice. Uh, this is a silly one. Yongjae or Richard? Yongjae. I don't want to take your time anymore. Uh, I just w I have one request. If you could uh, uh, say uh, a message to your fans and uh, my channel subscribers, uh, some kind of short message to probably encourage people to play viola or any other instrument and to or at least not to give up playing and learning music so if you can could say this on oh the gosh i'm all of this. <laughs> uh well you know you have a wonderful host here and uh we're all here because we love the viola right and the viola is a a very special instrument um i think the viola or maybe i would say music you know things in life we can get to know things uh on varying levels of 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 complexity just i think of things almost like your friends like you can get to know a friend just you know their name you know where they're from that's it and you like them but if you really, really like your friend, you probably want to ask them and get to know them and, and, and be with them. And I feel like an instrument and music is a lifelong friend. For me, it's almost, I would, I'm not exaggerating, it's kept me alive through dark times, through happy times, through the death of family members, through the marriage of a lot of my friends, through illnesses both myself and my family through uh, times when I'm not working times I am working music has been my friend uh, and viola has been the way I've been able to make music so I would say you know 
love music, uh, make it your lifelong friend. Um, and in all of its complexity, all of its 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 um, vastness, it, it's music is magical because it's it's you can approach it from many different angles, and there's not just one way. You know, there's a multitude of ways. I won't say infinite, but a multitude of ways. So it's worth the time to get to know it as best you can from as many different perspectives um, and and enjoy enjoy it for what it is because it can it can sustain you for many lifetimes I mean I've, I have this one lifetime I'm halfway through it probably and I'm still I feel like I have I, I, I'm not even beginning to know <laughs> what this is about but I have to say it's 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 um you meet wonderful people you get to you get to in make something beautiful you know how, how often do we get to do that in this world you know you surround yourself with beauty you know and so I would say keep on going and don't don't give up if things are going not the way you want it because that's that's most of my life I'm not happy I'm very not happy you know but but it's because love sometimes isn't about what what's easy you know so so keep with it and keep watching this channel and and you know, maybe I'll see you again sometime soon. Viola, what's your soil?